Hey, 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 how are you? So in the last three weeks, I've been, I've been playing around with Phaser GS uh, examples. So I literally copied some stuff to analyze collision shapes of a tiled level. And I played around with existing depth sorting of Phaser GS library to render uh, levels in a, in a browser. And by mixing two of the examples, I came up with a basic example where, well, not example, a demo, where I render out my own level with my own collisions. Actually, let me hide the collisions first. Go here, um, save. <coughs> So, uh, as you can see, my little plane is able to fly around a dungeon and it's being hidden by a wall, which is taken from the depth collision. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's flying around and where possible, it's visible in front of a wall, it's behind the wall, yeah. It's still a work in progress. <coughs> what I really wanted to show is uh, how I made the level itself. So I made everything myself in Blender and GIMP. Uh, I set up a few textures, so a texture for a wall, this, or better show this. Is just a uh, sand, uh, not sand, a paper texture with a basic grid. There's some dirt on the walls. There's some metal stuff uh, for floor tiles. And uh, yeah, there's some blocks. <coughs> I can actually create new tiles. Actually, you know what? Let's create a new one. Shift D. Whoop. Go to layout, view camera. I'm not using a mouse, by the way, so it just goes to show that you don't need a fan. Don't you don't need a fancy uh, setup to uh, to come up with something. So I'm using a grid to uh, place my objects, and I'm snapping to grid so that everything fits in here. Oh, by the way, if you want to know the uh, grid setup, the grid setup is scale. For, uh, so the grid that is help me, uh, helping me to place the items is set to scale of this. Copy that if, if you need to. And my camera is placed at a position this copy that if you want to and my uh, what's my output yeah it's 1024 by 1024 so yeah if I wanted to have another um, another block that I would, would want to show on the screen. Uh, let me actually extrude that. Bam. Oh, let me turn off the grid. Um, snapping. Yeah. Literally a uh, throwaway model, right? Let me save that. Maybe I will turn that into something more important later on. So yeah, the material is there. I am going to save it. Save as. Um, my tiles, and uh, let me actually close that now because I don't need it. Um, yeah, we are safe. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you how 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 I, how I can add that now to um, to my to my scene. So this is the image. Copy that. In my tiled editor, I think I want to place it on a specific layer where my where my uh, 
blocks are. Actually, let me move myself over here. So since I have it all set up already, so I can choose that and uh, place it over, I don't know, here. It's going to look weird. And uh, what I also set up, and uh, do write in the comments if you want to see um, the code for that. Um, I can go to settings of a tile and select that and I can draw a basic collision shape around it so that my little character could uh, interact with it and uh, not bump into it. All right, save that, and I am going to export that as uh, <coughs> my basement uh, level, and I am calling it a basement. All right, and I guess I need to copy that now to my phaser coding example in... Uh, public levels tiles bam replace all right and hopefully if everything turned out to be great uh, where is it oh yeah this is the block i cannot yeah let me fly towards that and yeah, I can I can bump into it because it's not a walkable tile anymore. Sweet, huh? So yeah, I did spend quite some time figuring out the depth levels. It's still buggy, as you can see, and the collision around that is not that great for 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 this moment. Uh, let me show it again. Yeah. <coughs> oh yeah. If you have noticed the lighting, I am setting up this as well. Oh yeah. So this is a uh, thing we created just now, and you can see some of the collisions are offset. They don't look as perfect as in here. All the collision tiles. You see the triangles and shapes. Uh, what I wanted to show is I also can set up. For now, it's just red lights. Uh, so, where do I start, actually? So, the start position is here, and right around the start position, I want to have another light. So, there it is, and uh, I am going to move it right next to the um, start position. So uh, we are going to appear on a more red-ish uh, background. So export as, and my basement level is this. Export and uh, yeah, go to browser again. And as, as you can see, we have appeared on a more red background. And if it's way too much for us, uh, yeah, my naming convention is superb, but this is what it is. All right, and uh, bam, re-export, replace, the browser restarts, and we're not on the red uh, illuminated um, background anymore. This is great. Um, this is a nice start to uh, to create some some more interactive uh, experience. Of course, it's buggy as hell, uh, but it's more than enough for uh, for one day experiment. Uh, you know, c considering all the hours combined uh, in the last like three weeks. So, if you want to have some uh, videos about just how that was created, 
uh, you know, if you want to have uh, a video explaining the setup and the problems I went through, just please uh, let me know. I will make a video and will post the code when it's more done, when I fix the collisions, but that's going to happen in quite a while because I've got job and a life. Till next time.